हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई सी अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अ प्रॉब्लम ऑन जे ट्रांसफॉर्म हियर एक्स ऑफ एन इज गिवन एज 1 बाय 2 होल टू द पावर ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एन वी नीड टू स्केच दिस एक्स ऑफ एन एंड आल्सो वी नीड टू फाइंड द जे ट्रांसफॉर्म एक्स ऑफ जे एंड द आर ओ सी ऑफ द ऑब्टेंड जे ट्रांसफॉर्म नाउ एक्स ऑफ एन is given as 1 by 2 whole to the power of magnitude of n so here n can take both positive and negative value now when n is equal to 0 at that case x of 0 will be equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of 0 so which will be equal to 1 when n is equal to 1 as well as minus 1 since we are having 1 by 2 whole to the power of magnitude of n so we will get x of 1 will be equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of 1 itself so that is nothing but 1 by 2 and x of minus 1 it will be 1 by 2 whole to the power of 1 itself because it is magnitude of n so it will be equal to 1 by 2 so when n is equal to 2 as well as minus 2 at that case x of 2 will be equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of 2 so that will be equal to 1 by 4 and x of minus 2 again it will be equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of 2 that will be equal to 1 by 4 so when n is equal to 3 as well as minus 3 it will be equal to x of 3 is equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of 3 that is nothing but 1 by 8 and x of minus 3 that will be equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of 3 itself because we are having magnitude of n so that is equal to 1 by 8 now let us sketch x of n let us sketch x of n so let us take in x axis we will take n and in y axis we will take x of n for n we will take different values as 0 1 2 and 3 and in negative axis we will take minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 so here we can take values for n up to infinity we have taken only three calculations from 0 to 3 when n is equal to 0 we are having the value as 1 so we will take 1 here for n is equal to 0 for n is equal to 1 and minus 1 we are having value as 1 by 2 so the value is 1 by 2 for 1 as well as minus 1 so it is 1 by 2 when n is equal to 2 and minus 2 we are having value as 1 by 4 so the value will be 1 by 4 for n is equal to 2 as well as minus 2 for n is equal to 3 and minus 3 we are having the value as 1 by 8 so we are having value as 1 by 8 for 3 as well as minus 3 so this is x of n since x of n is equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of magnitude of n we can say x of n is two sided sequence since x of n is two sided sequence we can write x of n is equal to 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n plus 1 by 2 whole to the power of minus n u of minus n minus 1 now we need to take z transform of this term and then we need to take z transform of this term so first we need to find z transform of first term then we need to find z transform of second term then we need to add these two z transform to get x of z so we will start with the z transform of first term so we need to find the z transform of 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n so to solve the z transform of this sequence first we need to find the z transform of u of n then 
we need to find z transform of 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n so we know z transform of u of n is z divided by z minus 1 now to find the z transform of 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n we can use exponential property we know from exponential property we can write we have already found the z transform of u of n so we can write that z transform z divided by z minus 1 so here we need to replace z with z divided by 1 by 2 so z divided by 1 by 2 which is nothing but 2 z so we need to replace z with 2 z so we can write z transform of 1 by 2 whole to the power of n u of n as 2z divided by 2z minus 1 so this equation we can write it as z divided by z minus 1 by 2 so this is the z transform of first sequence so let us take the second sequence let us find the z transform of 1 by 2 whole to the power of minus n u of minus n minus 1 we can write this sequence as a transform of 2 to the power of n u of minus n minus 1 since we are having negative power of n here we will make that power as positive like this first let us find the z transform of u of minus n minus 1 then we will find the z transform of 2 to the power of n u of minus n minus 1 since z transform of minus u of minus n minus 1 is equal to z divided by z minus 1 therefore we can write z transform of u of minus n minus 1 as minus z divided by z minus 1 therefore z transform of u of minus n minus 1 is minus z divided by z minus 1 so again we will use exponential property for this equation so it will be equal to minus z divided by z minus 1 here z should be replaced with z by 2 so this equation we can write it as minus z by 2 divided by z by 2 minus 1 so this is nothing but minus z by 2 divided by z by 2 by 2 so we can cancel out these two and then we can write z transform as minus z by z minus 2 so this is the z transform of second term so we will add z transform of first term and second term to get the final z transform so we can write x of z is equal to z by z minus 1 by 2 minus z divided by z minus 2 so this equation we can write it as if we take lcm as z minus 1 by 2 into z minus 2 so in the numerator we can write z into z minus 2 minus z into z minus 1 by 2 2. So if we solve this, we will get minus 3z divided by 2 into z minus 1 by 2 into z minus 2. So this is the z transform of the given sequence. Here ROC will be magnitude of z should be greater than 1 by 2 and magnitude of z should be less than 2. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.